We're all very quick to throw away old toothbrushes and newspapers when we think they are past their sell-by date. However, in reality, these objects could be enjoying a second or even third life. All you have to do is think outside the box a little and put these items to use in other ways. Amazing! Number 20. Use a hammer as a nail holder. Most of us know where we keep our hammers, but nails are often a little trickier to find. A way around this is to glue a magnet to the base of your hammer and simply place your loose nails there. It's also an extremely handy way to pick up loose nails. Number 19. Use a spoon as a tin opener. Tin openers are one of those items that you only realize how precious they are when you can't find one. If you find yourself in this predicament, there is a solution. You can use a spoon. Place the tin on a flat surface and use the tip of the spoon like a saw and simply saw your way around the edges. Once the top is off, you can also use the spoon to lift the lid off. Number 18. Use a spoon to open a bottle of beer. Much like tin openers, bottle openers become one of the most precious items in the world when you have a bottle of your favorite beer in hand and no way to open it. In the past, people have used things like keys and even their phones in the struggle to open their beverage of choice. A much better option is a spoon. Place the tip of the spoon against the bottom of the lid. Hold the bottle just underneath the lid and use your thumb as a lever to lift the lid off. Number 17. Use old newspapers to line bin bags. A simple way to avoid the liquid that gathers in the base of plastic bags ruining your bin is to line the bag with old newspapers first. The paper will soak up the rubbish grease and leave your bin dry as a bone. As an added extra, the newspaper will also soak up any unpleasant odors, leaving your bin smelling wonderfully as well. Number 16. Use paper clips as a second battery. Sick of getting up and down to switch channels now that one of your remote control batteries has mysteriously disappeared? There is a way around this. A paper clip can be used as a stand-in second battery. Bend it so that one end is touching the positive and the other end the negative end of the battery holder, and now you've got a stand-in battery. The range of your remote might be slightly reduced with this method, but it's still better than nothing. Number 15. Use rice to clean glass bottles. On top of its many uses, rice is also an excellent cleanser. If you're struggling to clean long-necked bottles, simply drop some rice inside the container, add washing up liquid and some water, and shake. The rice works essentially as a hard bristle brush to scour the hard-to-reach places of the bottle. A quick rinse and you're done. Number 14. Use rice to soak up water in a wet phone. This is a terrific trick for those of us whose phones wind up in the most watery of places. If your phone is no longer operational because of an unexpected bath, there is still hope of resuscitation. Place the phone in a bag of uncooked rice overnight. Rice is a mild desiccant, meaning it naturally soaks up water and hopefully should bring your phone back to life. Number 13. Use lemon juice to brighten laundry whites. If your whites could be a little whiter, a handy trick is to add half a cup of lemon juice to a wash. Lemon juice is a wonderful natural whitening agency, although it can leave bleach marks on colored items. Additionally, add a little vinegar to your wash in place of fabric softener as a natural way to make your clothes softer. Vinegar contains trace amounts of potassium and sodium, which softens the hard water and can help to dissolve mineral buildup. Number 12. Use olive oil to remove makeup. If you don't have your normal makeup remover on hand and yet still need to cleanse your skin, olive oil can be used as a substitute, as long as it is extra virgin, that is. This natural oil has a similar chemical structure to the waxes and oils used in makeup and so can be easily used to dissolve foundation, eyeshadow, and mascara. Number 11. Use olive oil to silence squeaky doors. This one makes a lot of sense when you think about it. If you're suffering from an annoyingly squeaky door, just lubricate a cloth with a small amount of oil, then wipe the top of the hinges with the cloth so the oil runs down the sides. Number 10. Use Velcro to keep your rug in place. A nice rug can bring a room together, but it can also, occasionally, be something of a health hazard. If you're sick of tripping over your favorite rug, there is a way to stop those pesky corners from getting in your way. Add Velcro to the edges to keep the movable carpet in place. Number 9. Use Vinegar to Kill Weeds If your garden is starting to be overcome by weeds, there is a simple solution hiding in your cupboard. Vinegar. 
Vinegar contains acetic acid, which will kill any plant it touches by absorbing moisture from the leaves and shriveling the plant. Simply fill a spray bottle with the most highly acidic vinegar you can get your hands on and spray it at the relevant plant. Be warned though, if the vinegar touches any grass or other plants, it will kill them too. Number 8. Use baking soda as a deodorant. If you're in emergency need of deodorant or are simply worried about some of the chemicals in your product of choice, you can always substitute it with baking soda. Mix about one eighth of a teaspoon of soda with some water and rub it under your arms. Baking soda, otherwise known as sodium bicarbonate, is completely odorless when it comes into contact with acidic odor-causing agents. Its natural pH balancing properties means it masks the smell. As a result, baking soda can be used in kitty litter trays and on dirty clothes as well. The chemical structure of baking soda means it is a mild abrasive, which also makes it effective for removing stains on your teeth and making your teeth look brighter too. Number 7. Use Ziploc Bags to Store Homemade Soup This is handy if you have a dinner party coming up soon and need to store an awful lot of soup in a short space of time. Simply fill up a Ziploc bag with soup, place it flat in a freezer, and once it's frozen, you can pile up more bags on top of each other. This is also how the restaurants will often store meat because of its large surface area when packed flat. Number 6. Use Salt to Chill Wine If you really need to chill your wine or any other drink quickly, here is a great solution. Place ice around the base of an ice bucket and sprinkle it with a bit of salt. Put the wine bottle in the bucket and layer the salt and ice until it reaches the neck. Then fill the bucket with water. Wait about 10 minutes and the wine should be nice and chilled. This happens because when salt is added to water, it lowers its freezing point, which is normally 0 degrees Celsius. So by adding ice to water, it lowers the water's temperature and the salt helps it stay that way. Number 5. Use pencils to hold up small plants. If you have a plant or plants that are leaning a little one way or the other, a handy way to fix this is to place a pencil in the ground beside it and allow the plant to use it as a crutch. If the plant is proving to be particularly unstable, you can always tie it to the pencil with some elastic. Number 4. Use ice cubes to remove chewing gum from clothes and carpets. This is a great trick for helping unstick the unstickable. Place the relevant piece of clothing in a bag of ice, wait for the gum to freeze on it, then remove the clothing and chip the ice away with a knife. For more delicate material, it might be better to use an old toothbrush if the gum is on a carpet. Simply apply the ice directly to it and do the same thing. Number 3. Use Socks as a Draft Stopper This one is a little more complicated but works a treat if your house gets a bit drafty in the winter. First, gather together a number of old socks. The number will depend on how long you need your draft stopper to be. Cut the tops off each sock and then turn them inside out. Sew together the tubes leaving one end open so you have one long sock. Stuff the sock with rice or lentils. Use a paper cup or funnel to help drop the grains into the sock. Then sew the top of it shut and lay it at the bottom of your drafty door for the perfect draft stopper. Number 2. Use a can opener to open sealed plastic packaging. Opening a particularly thick plastic package, sometimes known as a clamshell package, can be a pain as you try and use knives, scissors, or even your hands to get at the goodness inside. What you probably haven't tried is using a can opener. Simply place the opener around the edge of the plastic and open the packaging the way you would a tin of tuna. Number 1. Aluminum Can Cookie Cutter When you're in need of a heart-shaped cookie cutter, but you're unable to get anywhere near a shop, there is a solution. Soda cans. If you have a can handy, as well as a scissors and a ruler, you can have your cookie cutter in no time. First, cut the bottom and top off the can. Cut it into 1.5 centimeter sections and make yourself a series of strips. From here, you can make as many shapes as you want, hearts, rose petals, diamonds, or whatever you want. A neat trick is to use a pen for more complex shapes. Know of any other unique uses? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.